Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Hold on, guys. Okay, so this is going to be a reading for my Aries. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you're new, hey girl, hey. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be for December, or excuse me, hold on. We're in January, actually. So let me pull up the date. Let me pull up the date. So this is going to be for... December 31st to December, December, December 31st to January 7th. So thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. Like I said, we are going to get straight into the message. I hope you guys had an awesome last year and now we're in January and now we are stepping into some new energies. So we're going to go ahead and see what my Gypsy Oracle deck has to say for this week. Just some intuitive messages. Then we're going to go ahead and get into a brief spread and then we're going to finish off on my other side which is patreon so if you guys are interested in checking out that membership make sure you guys go ahead and join that link is going to be listed below as well as my information for booking me and let's get straight into your reading all right Wow. Okay. <laughs> so anyone who has been sneaky towards you lately, I feel like they're not going to be able to get away with it. Okay. Anybody who has had bad intentions overall, this... I feel like you this week you guys are really not here for it. Like people are being exposed to you, okay? Exposed to you. And it may not even be like some shocking information comes out. Wow. Too many cards are flying out. It's not even that somebody was exposed to you. It's more of like you're just starting to realize some of you guys. Or maybe somebody was trying to create some sort of issues for you or trying to like i said trying to get away with some things but they're not able to get away with it i feel like you're going to catch somebody up in some mess or this person is going to be revealed to you this person who has shady ways okay it's something about money guys it's something about money something about money so this week definitely be cautious okay definitely be cautious i feel like you guys do need to make sure that you're keeping your money stored somewhere safe that you guys are actually saving your money as well that you don't have money just laying around the house especially if you have people in your house you can't trust okay Some of you guys also may be having issues with feeling like you're freed from something. You may be feeling very trapped to a situation, a circumstance, or feeling like you want to go, like you want to go off in your own journey, but you can't. Maybe because you are trapped to money. Maybe you need to focus on money and that's why you can't. I'm also seeing something here about you guys really trying to keep it together. I feel like you guys are really just either discontent with some things or just feeling some sort of way. And it's like you're trying to keep it strong. You're trying to keep a, a cool, composed look, but it's not inside. You're just feeling down. There's somebody here that is not to be trusted, guys. Somebody is not to be trusted this week, okay? I got too many cards showing me some sneaky energy. But I really feel like some enemies this week are walking away. Mad that they couldn't get away with something. Somebody's mad that they didn't get away with something. Something. 
Make sure this week you guys are not showing off. Make sure you guys are not showing off in any sort of sense, okay? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay? Um... I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this portion. It's just this week somebody who's going to be revealed to you. Somebody who is not really loyal to you is going to be exposed. <laughs> Simple. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's going on. Those are just some intuitive messages, guys. What's coming in for my Aries for December 31st to January 7th? What's going on with my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aries for December 31st to January 7th. December 31st to January 7th for my Aries. Okay, first card out, we have the Chariot. So this week, you guys are really moving forward, okay? Really moving forward, focusing on your goals, focusing on what you guys are needing to accomplish, okay? Some of you guys are working on getting a new car or working on fixing up your car. Some of you guys could be traveling as well, okay? But I really feel like you guys are wanting to push forward. I feel like this energy of, okay, well, whatever happened in the past happened in the past. I'm not going to focus on that anymore. It's time for me to, like, get balance in my life. And I feel like you guys are really <laughs> worried about, or not even worried, just really wanting to focus on the future, focusing on what you want to accomplish. You guys are really trying to balance out your shadow and light side, okay? Especially if you guys can take it there sometimes, but you're trying to have full control of your emotions and how you process them and just moving forward in a positive light here, okay? So we have the two of pentacles. So I'm feeling like, I'm feeling like you guys are wanting to move forward this week, but there's some decisions you guys are needing to make, okay? There's some decisions, there's some pros and cons you guys are needing to weigh out. There's just a need for you guys to understand or figure out which way you want to go about some things, okay? Okay, so again, the sneaky energy is coming up here. So beware of a earth sign and an air sign here that may have younger energy. If they don't have younger energy, these are people promising close to nothing, okay? Close to nothing. So be aware of that. If you are expecting some sort of stable opportunity to come out of either one of these people, they'll do anything but avoid that, okay? So... Be aware of that. Yeah, three of cups. They're just looking for fun right now. But are you guys the ones looking for fun? It may not even be them. You guys may be looking for fun this week, okay? Somebody's looking for fun. Somebody's looking for fun or somebody's avoiding some decisions that they need to make. So this week is calling for you guys to also get in touch with your emotional needs, what you guys are needing, especially if this is you, if this is you guys just having fun right now. Okay, you may have two options this week. And you may have some younger, like I said, some younger energy here. And you may be avoiding this commitment. Whoa, why are cards just falling on the floor? Yeah. Or you could be, like I said, dealing with an air sign that you guys are avoiding or this air sign may be doing some sneaky things behind your back. So this may be the person that you need to watch out for. If it's not an air sign, this may be somebody who you detached from or cut off a while ago. But you guys are really needing to get in touch with your emotional needs this week, okay, so that you guys can gain balance. Also, I feel like there's a lot of karmic situations around you right now um, where you're needing to understand the lesson. Understand the lesson of what it's trying to teach you, especially if you're not understanding where all of this is coming from, okay? If you're feeling a sense of dissatisfaction, it's a need for you guys to get 
some balance and harmony within your connections and overall with what you guys have going on here. And some of you guys need to stop focusing on what's not working and focus on what the universe is trying to give you in replacement, okay? So use your intuition this week, guys. Really use your intuition to protect yourself. I hate to say that and scare you guys, but um, you really do need to use your intuition so that you guys can avoid any sort of conflict here. What is this conflict that may be coming towards my Aries this week? So yes, focusing on the future is going to be key. Even if things are moving slow, you need to move forward. In, in search of clarity, in search of understanding, instead of being lost, being stuck in a situation that's confusing you. Okay, so I am seeing new opportunities here, guys. I am seeing new opportunities here this week. Make sure that it's something tangible and something that is living up to your morals and not something that's fickle, something that's in and out, someone that's in and out, and somebody who's not going to leave you stressed, okay? This may be a Leo. This may be you guys needing to control yourself as well. Be tempered in your approach, or not tempered, but being very controlled and being very um, strong as well when it comes to leaving some things behind, okay? Especially if it's some toxic things or things situations that you're tied to that doesn't make you happy, all right? And this could also be addictions. This could be sexual encounters that you guys are needing to walk away because it doesn't emotionally fulfill you. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher, actually. I want to see what's going on with the cross watcher, and then we're going to finish off on the other side. What's going on with my Aries cross watcher, partner, or person in question for December 31st through January 7th? Whoa. So yes, we have the king of pentacles in reverse. So they're financially not good. And again, this person is a user, guys. This person is wanting some sort of financial help or this person is very dependent, okay? Eight of cups in reverse. Unable to walk away at the moment, even though they're emotionally not happy. So we have the three of wands here. I really feel like this person's trying to plan for their long term. They're waiting for some things to shift when it comes to their finances and their life, okay? They could be feeling a little bit stressed out and like things are just a lot on their back. They may have issues with coming off of the defense as well. Jeez. Could be dealing with the air sign. Yeah, the king of swords in reverse. You guys are definitely dealing with the air sign. This person is very detached and operating from a very bad place okay the king of swords and the king of pentacles is in reverse so this is telling me the energy that you guys are dealing with is a little shaky this week okay i really feel like this person's at a crossroads they don't really know which way they want to go when it comes to which path they're going to take and they're having in and out passion for the situation okay Yeah, and they're feeling a sense of heartbreak. They're focusing on what did not work in the relationship. They're focusing on all the issues, and they feel like you guys may be a little emotionally immature, or they may be a little emotionally immature as well. Um, it looks like whenever things get rocky, that's when things kind of turn left, okay? Um, this person may have legal issues that they have to deal with that they're keeping secret, They may want to secretly make things work as well. Yeah. <laughs> they may want to secretly make it work, but they want some things to end first before they could even uh, manifest this with you. Or they need things to end around them. All right? But yeah, this person's definitely coming into a sense of enlightenment. And they may be actually coming to contact you soon. So expect a message, all right? But um, be careful, guys, this week. 
so that's what i'm seeing for you aries thank you guys so much for watching if this resonated leave a like comment and subscribe and if you do want a personal reading like i said make sure you guys check out my information below and i will see you aries in your next reading bye guys have an awesome week